Well, hello, and welcome back into Studio B, and welcome to your practice. This is gonna be a quick tutorial for Breath of Joy. Now, we know that the breath is the most portable form of stress management that we have. We also know that deep breathing is physiologically incompatible with an active stress response. But did you know that the breath can also really help you to combat depression, anxiety, and feelings of overwhelm? And that's exactly what Breath of Joy does. Now I'm gonna be teaching a version of Breath of Joy that I learned from Amy Weintraub, who is a yoga therapist that adopted the really classic Breath of Joy from the Kripalu tradition. And she adapted it in a way that is very suitable for anyone that is dealing with low back issues um, or just might need to have a little bit more care and concern for the body. Now Breath of Joy is super simple. It consists of a three-part inhalation and then one complete and normal exhalation out of the mouth. So it looks something like this. Ha! And you can see when I do that ha, I don't drop my head, I don't fold too far forward. I come into more of like a light seated position or a chair kind of shape with the body still upright. And I just open the mouth and let the air come out. The ha can be as loud and forceful and roar-like as you like, or it can be a little bit softer and just letting the breath generate naturally out of the mouth. Let's take about five or seven rounds of this together and see how it feels. So start with the feet about hip distance apart, maybe even slightly wider. You can soften the knees a little bit. We don't need to be overly rigid in the legs and relax the arms alongside the body. And let's just take a normal breath to prepare. So just letting the breath come in on the inhale and then just letting it really naturally come out on an exhale. And then we'll begin. So you inhale a third, two thirds, all the way and ha. Maybe a little louder on the next ha. Ha. Ha, last one. Ha, stand up. Maybe let the eyes rest on something that's not gonna move or close them. Maybe place the hands on the body. Sensing any energy that's swirling around you or maybe even a spark of energy that's been enlivened inside of you. And then letting the next breath bring you back out to your external environment. So that's it. That's Breath of Joy. This is a fabulous practice to use if you're just struggling to find your get up and go, or you need a little bit of kind of a wake up quality in the middle of the slump in the end of your day. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn this with me. It's one of my favorites and I always love practicing with joy. I look forward to being with you again soon. Be blessed.